Hey, Bill DeWeese here with Long Strange Journey with a quick little tackle tip. Uh, if you're like me, you have a lot of uh, fishing rods, and uh, these are not only one of the some of the more expensive things you have in your uh, fishing fishing arsenal. They're also some of the most easily damaged. So, a quick tip here on how to protect your rods. And um, if you unless you've been hiding under a rock, you probably know about the rod sock. Rod socks are awesome, they are super cheap, and they are a great way to protect. Not only are you worried about these things getting crushed in a car door or hit with a ceiling fan, but any kind of nick in these modern graphite rods can weaken them and uh, cause them to break. Uh, so uh, you can put these on. Uh, I have the, the blue ones in my case, or the larger ones. They're meant for spinning rods. They have a much larger diameter to accommodate that first rod guide. And um, so these are like a finger cuff, right? So they can get, they expand, and I've had the tip of my rod poke through on the side if they're, if they're in any way shorter than the overall length of the rod and there's pressure on them. Uh, so what I do and what I've learned to do and, and, and have found to be very effective is I take a soda bottle, and uh, small or large, and I simply cut around it, and I will use my knife or a pair of scissors, and I will cut that out and have that as sort of a protective cap. If you take a pair of scissors after you do the raw cut, you can go around it and make sure that everything is nice and cleaned up, no sharp edges, nothing that's gonna do any damage to your rod or to your rod sock, All right? And now what you do is you simply take that and stick it down inside your rod sock and it pulls in there very nicely and it goes right up to the tip. So now when you put your rod sock on your rod and you're going to jam your rod into your car or into your truck, in my case, uh, into the back, um, you now have your tip inside of a protected housing. It can't be crushed. And as you're jamming it back up into some place, you're not going to beat up the tip of the eye. Uh, the only thing that I do differently here is that sometimes I'll have a rod that I might use, but I'm not sure it's not in my plan to use that day. And I want to put that in the gunnel of my boat. And I have the gunnel rod holder with the, with the holes through the bulkhead. I'll take this out but because uh, it can jam up in the bulkhead. But it's actually very easy just to back this out. And it's very easy to reinstall it. So this is a great way to add a little bit more protection to your rod sock to protect your rod and keep that tip from getting crushed. So I do hope this helps. And um, you find a way to protect your rods because they're easily broken and very expensive. Thank you very much.